Hello students, welcome to Smart Kids Tutorials. In this video, we will be learning about metric conversion. That is applying the knowledge we learned or we gathered in the previous video about metric units and how uh, we change from um, uh, large uh, measuring larger units to smaller units and we also uh, should remember the story about King Henry and how we can apply it in remembering the metric system or metric units remember King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk okay always remember that uh, we'll be applying that now to help us to solve these questions which are in front of us so we've got six questions and we can see two right now in front of us so let us uh, straight away go to the first problem without any delay and uh, let's look to solve it so first question says how many meters make a kilometer okay so to find that out first thing we'll have to make use of king henry okay so he'll put over here as uh, king henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk okay now we know that k stands for kilo h for hecto d for deca u is the unit so in this case it will be meters okay then we have deci centi and milli now we are asked how many meters make a kilometer that means how many meters we are here sorry we are here how many meters make a kilometer which means we need to go towards our left so whenever we travel to the left okay whenever we travel to the left remember this we need to multiply and whenever we travel to the right we need to divide okay now in this case we have to multiply and we we are here right now because it says how many meters right so i'll use a different pen okay so we are here we need to go from meters to uh, kilometer so that would be from here one two and three so every time we jump okay towards our left we look to multiply it with a 10 so this would be a 10 multiplied with another 10 multiplied with another 10 if we combine the three zeros we will get a thousand so which means that one uh, kilometer because we are asked for a kilometer is equal to a thousand meters because a thousand meters how we get it it is 10 into 10 into 10 that will give us a thousand Our next meters. question is how many meters make a centimeter so once again we write down king henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk our unit is meter because we are talking in meters right now we are asked how many meters that is here make a centimeter which is over here this is centimeter so that means we will have to go from here to here then we need to go from here to here okay that is two places and when we jump two places we need to multiply twice but that would have been on the left hand side so when we jump two places towards our right we have to divide over here I had mentioned when you move to your left we multiply when you move to your right we divide so here we will have to divide and divide how many times is by 10 and by 10 since we jump two places so we'll have to divide by 10 into 10 gives us 100 so we'll have to divide by 100 so that means one centimeter will be equal to one upon hundred meter okay so this is how we get from centimeter to meter remember we divided over here because we were moving to our right if we move towards our left okay then we 
multiply if we move towards our right we divide so here since we move two places we have divided it by 100 it's as good as saying dividing it by 1 upon 10 into 10 hmm? it means the same thing let's move to the next question it says how many meters make a millimeter so once again we'll write k h d which stands for king henry died unexpectedly which is actually for unit drinking chocolate milk this is decimeter centimeter and millimeter now we are asked how many meters make a millimeter so our meter is here and our millimeter is here which means it's moving to our right which means that we need to divide how many places one two and three so divide by 10 into 10 into 10 that would be thousand okay so we get one millimeter equal to one upon one thousand and one thousand actually means one upon 10 into 10 into 10. Coming to our fourth question, how many millimeters make a centimeter? So once again we'll write, King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. How many millimeters? Millimeters is here, make a centimeter. Centimeter is over here, which means we are now moving towards our left, which means we have to multiply. And since it's moving only one place, it would be into 10 and this is our unit which is meter in this case but well, we are moving from millimeter to centimeter which means we are multiplying only by 10 so 1 centimeter equal to 10 millimeter okay next question the fifth question how many centimeters make a meter so king henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk how many centimeters centimeters here and meter is here which is our unit so that would be one place two places towards the left which means we are getting multiplied 10 sorry not here would be 10 here and 10 here 10 into 10 gives us 100 so which means one meter equal to a hundred centimeters and for our final question, how many centimeters make a kilometer? So we have King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. How many centimeters? Centimeters is here and kilometers is where? Here. Okay. And we are moving towards our left. That means from centimeters to kilometers, moving to the left. And moving to the left means we are going to multiply. How many places? One. 2, 3, 4 and 5 that means into 10, into 10, into 10, into 10 and into 10 and that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros after 1 which means so 1 kilometer would be equal to 1 followed by 5 zeros. Why 5 zeros? Because you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the unit would be centimeter. You want to find out if we really got this number, then all you need to do is multiply 10 into 10 into 10 into 10 into 10. Then 5 times, okay? Not 10 into 5, but 10 into 10 into 10 into 10 into 10, which is 10 raised to 5. So this means 10 into 10 into 10 into 10 and into another 10. And this will give us this figure. So, 1 kilometer is equal. So, remember uh, always that when we move towards our right, we have to divide. And when we move towards our left, we have to multiply. And how many uh, tens or uh, tens that we have to multiply or divide depends on the number of places that you are uh, moving. So, I hope uh, this video has been useful in helping you understand how to convert from one unit into uh, another using uh, 
uh, the mnemonic that we have learned about King Henry. If you found this uh, video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel and you will be able to watch more such videos like this that will help you to remember the easier way the match that you are doing. Please share it with your friends so they would also benefit from the same and keep watching for more such videos. Thank you.